I'm Steve Kirsch, CEO of Token. I've started six companies, I've made billions of dollars for my investors, and I'm an expert in identity and security. And I'm Yobi Benjamin, CTO of Token. I was also the former global CTO of Citibank's Global Transaction Services, where I moved $1.25 quadrillion per year. Today, banking regulators worldwide are demanding that banks update their underlying payment technology with both real-time systems and secure systems. But where do the banks get the software? I know that it's very hard to find this. And this is the reason why we started Token, to provide that software. We assembled a high-powered team of security, identity, and banking experts, and we gave them a charge, make it fast and make it risk-free, reduce the risk as much as possible. And they created an amazing new payment system based on state-of-the-art technologies and digital signatures. Now, unlike other solutions, our solution is designed specifically for banks. And so we, the banks have full control over the ledgers and so forth. And because it's run by banks, software developers who want to use it to move money don't have to get money transmitter licenses. We're now going to show you four things you can do with this technology. Let's start with uh, redoing mobile payments. And so we have a pending transaction on that. So all I do is take my phone and I tap it, uh, and the transaction is made. So what are, if I, now I'm going to steal this iPhone, and I'm going to try to do it. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But when I get it back uh, into my hands and I make the transaction again, let's go uh, put a charge here, uh, it works. And the reason it does that is because I'm wearing a Fitbit um, on my, my wrist here. And so it's actually taking the cryptographic keys and combining it with the, the cryptographic keys in the phone to make that transaction more secure. So it's all about reducing risk. Our next demo is uh, bill pay. Now with token, you're gonna love paying your bills. After uh, the first time you get your bill in your mail and you click that, that pay button, it'll go through a little 30 second uh, setup routine where you just enter in your phone number and your banking credentials. And then after that, um, uh, it's very easy to pay a bill. So all he does is click on the bill pay, and then he'll get a, uh, a confirmation uh, of the amount to be paid, and then he'll just click uh, pay with token. And that's it. So if somebody um, steals my device, people always ask, hey, what happens if someone steals your device? Um, it's no problem. That way people can pay my bills for me. So it's extremely secure. We've taken all the risk out of bill pay. We're rolling out this new technology to a public utility in Silicon Valley at the end of this month. And I can tell you from experience, banks love this technology because it reduces the overall cost of bill pay operations. For our third demo, we're going to show you um, authentication technology and how it can be used to authenticate identity. So we just um, uh, talked to our bank and they want to authenticate who we are. So we got a push notification to our phone. When Yobi types confirm on the phone, he's actually sending and signing digital, um, he's, he's sending a digital signature to the bank that proves that he really has his phone to prove his identity. So this is simpler, faster, and easier than anything uh, that, uh, that anyone is doing now to verify identity. That, um, and it's, it's signed with three different uh, digital signatures when he does that. And that push notification could also be a payment authorization. So if I want to order pizza, for example, I can call up the pizza company and tell them to send me a push notification to authorize the charge and also to release my address. So I don't have to give out credit cards, I don't have to give my uh, address uh, when I order things. For our final demo, we want to show you just how easy it is to, for a programmer to use token. We're going to show you our APIs. Our API is amazing. It's super simple. It's super secure, and it's powerful. So let's take a look here. I'm going to send uh, Steve my public key. And each transaction is what, signed. Pri private key. Uh, private key, sorry. Uh, each transaction is signed with that private key before the transaction is sent over the internet. There are no shared secrets. That means you are not going to get a mass breach. You are not going to get target-like attacks in your system. Now, suppose I want to send Steve $10. Here's the code. And if I want to get my money back, all I have to do is reverse the arguments. Now, 
That worked because Steve has previously authorized me to take some money from his account. But let me see if I can take more money from Steve's account. It's going to fail. It fails, it, it, it fails because our API accommodates features such as pre-authorized transfers with limits. So for example, you can go and pre-authorize your Uber account to go and take up to $100 a month from your account. So we've shown you just a few applications of token, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, never before have banks been able to do both push and pull transactions that are secured by digital signatures. We're moving payment protocols from outdated closed protocols to modern, open, simple APIs, from slow to instant, from manual to straight through processing, from shared secrets and mass breaches to digital signatures, from complex batch file format specifications to simple, elegant, real-time APIs. From, go to, if you go to a bank right now and you say you want to do ACH debits, you can wait three months and they'll tell you to get lost. Um, if you're Circle or Coinbase, they have to have a, the banks have to have an army of risk people, you know, trying to figure it out all done manually. Uh, with token, it's no problem. So that paradigm shift to secure payments is inevitable and it's happening right now. This is game changing and this is the future of payments. We invite you to join us at our booth to learn more. Thank you. Thank you very much.